Hello guys, welcome to Strike Jam. In this video, we're going to look at some hot problem solving in concentration measurements. In this video, we're going to look at how we're going to combine all of those concentration measurements, basic problem solving into a specific problem. So we're going to start with problem number one. Right here, you have a solution of H2SO4 with a molal concentration of 8.010 molal and has a density of 1.354 gram per milliliter. What is the molar concentration of this solution? So when you look at this question, you are given three important points or three very important ideas that you need to be able to use them together to solve this particular problem. The first one that you are being given here is the molality. And the second one that we have is density. And then the question wants you to find the molarity. Okay, so we have the first concentration measurement over here, which is molality. Okay, so this is the first one. And then second, we have the second concentration measurement, which is molarity. Okay, so if you have question like this in exams, you need to be prepared to do some kind of assumptions, logical assumption, in order for you to be able to solve the problem. Okay, so the first step that we need to do, you have to be able to know what does the question want you to find. Problem number one is very obvious. It wants you to find the molar concentration or in other word, molarity. So step number one, what you need to do now is find out first what the question wants. And we know that the question wants you to find molarity, okay? And it's very important for you to know what does it mean by molarity. So based on the previous video that we have watched before you reach to this video, we have talked about the definition of molarity. Molarity is defined as the mole of solute over the volume of solution in liter. So when you are able to write the definitions of what the question wants, you would be given one mark for this. But you need to make sure you need to use the correct units over here. Without this unit, if you write the whole thing here without indicating the correct unit, you wouldn't be able to get your one mark. Do remember that. Now, in step two, what we need to do? We do know that molarity is defined as mole of solutes of a volume of solution. So to get the molar concentration of the solution, we need to know where to find mole of solute, and we need to know where to find volume of solutions. And how do we do that? If you look back at the question, it doesn't really give you those information right away. So we need to work it out, okay? The question gives you another concentration measurement. So this is a concentration measurement that we need to find out. But the question gives you another concentration measurement. So from this 
concentration regimen over here, which is the molality, this is where we can do the logical assumption. Therefore, in step number two, we need to make logical assumption based on the other concentration measurement given. Okay, so we have the concentration measurement of molarity. This is the one that we need to find. And the one that is given to you is molality. Therefore, from here, we would be able to do the logical assumptions and we can get the information that we need to have in order for us to solve this. Now, given in the question 8.010 mole per kilogram, which is this. Do you remember this number over here with that unit is also the same as 8.010 mole per kilogram. It's the same thing, okay? So the unit little m over here is the same as that unit. So when you look at the units right there for molality, we can write that in the form of, I'm gonna write here, 8.010 mole per kilogram, like what we have in there. So by writing this from what you are given there, and you compare with the definition of molality, which is mole of solute, okay, the solute that we are using now based on this question is H2SO4, okay? And then the mole of solute, you're going to divide that with the mass of solvent. Why do I use this? Because this piece of information that we have belongs to the molal concentration or molality. Okay, so from this piece of information, we can assume that we can assume that this is the number of mole of solute and this is the mass of your solvent. So that is what it meant by logical assumption. You cannot simply assuming that you have one kilogram of mass solvent. You need to be based on what the question gives. Okay, and then we would be able to do this assumption. So we can assume that the mole of solutes is 8.010 mole, like what we have over here, and the mass of solvent is 1,000 grams or one kilogram. Remember, these two assumptions right here happened from the logical assumption process that we have done on top, okay? So we're not simply assuming stuff. We need to be based on what the question gives. And in problem number one, it gives you the molality, okay? So by doing the assumption correctly, so you will get, so this whole thing over here, you'll get one one, okay? So in step three, what do we need to do in step three? We need to find, okay. So first, we need to find the mass of solution. How do you find the mass of solution? Okay, so I'm gonna try to cover this part first. Okay, so to find the mass of solution, we need to be based on the basic principle of solution, which is 
solution is equals to solute plus solvent. When you have solute, solvent, add together, you're going to have a solution. When you go back to here, we have the mass of solvent already, which is 1,000 grams. So the mass of solvent, this over here, we have that already. Okay, from where do we get this one? From the logical assumption from step two, okay, right here. The 1,000 mass of solvent is right over here. Now we need to find out what is the mass of solute in order for you to find out the mass of solution. How do we do that? If we just going to go back again to the previous slide, we have found out that the mole of solutes is assumed as 8.010 mole. So if you still remember, the marmol von Neumonic, if you have number of mole, this guy can be changed into mass. And how do you do that? You can at times with molar mass of the compound. Okay, you have mole over here, and you, you can change that into mass of solute. Okay? So, to do that, obviously, we need to find the molar mass. Okay? So from the assumption just now, we have learned that 8.010 mole of H2SO4 solute. And we need to find the molar mass. It's a very simple calculation. We have done this many times. And from there, you would be able to work out the mass of solute, 8.010 mole, from the logical assumption again. I'm I'm going to highlight that this is from the logical assumption as well. The one that we have done just now. It's very important for you to know how to do that. And times with the molar mass of H2SO4, you would be able to get the mass of your solute. I'm going to take this number. You can add up with the 1,000 right there, and therefore, you would be able to get the mass of solution equals to 1785, 1785.781 grams. So for this, you will be getting one mark for the mass of solution, one mark for the mass of solute, and you will get one mark for writing this formula, a very simple concept of solution. Now, moving on to step number four. To find the volume of solution from density. Okay, we want to find the volume of solution from density. Just now we have worked out the um, mass of solution. The reason why we want to find the mass of solution over here because we, we, we want to use this piece of information to find what we need to get to have this solved. We have the mole of solutes already, okay? We do know that the mass of solutes over here is, okay, this one is 8.0100 mole. We have done that already. We have from the logical assumption. Now we just need to find the volume of solution. Okay. And that is the reason why we need to do this. We will be using the mass of solution to find the volume of your solution. And how do you do that? The question gives you density. Remember, I've told you just now, 
the density is going to be very important. So this is the density of the solution, okay? Density of the solution, 1.354 gram per mil. We have the mass right over here, mass of solution. So we can use this piece of information to find this, okay? The density of solution is defined as the mass of solution in grams over volume of solution in mil. Mass of solution, we have mass of solution already. Density of solution, the question gives you density of solution right here. So the only thing that you need to do now is to substitute all the value inside the density of solution formula and you'll get something like this, okay? And completing all of that volume of solution will be 1318.893 milliliter and we have to change this to liter why because we need to find molarity and for molarity your volume of solution needs to be in liter okay so this whole thing would give you one mark and that We'll give you another one. Okay, so next, what we need to do is we are going to um, we're going to go for step number five, plug in all the values into molarity formula. So the formula is this, and then we have the number of mole of solutes, the one that we have assumed just now. And we're gonna put in the volume of solution. And finally, you've got the molarity. And do not forget to write the correct units, which is big M over here. Or alternatively, you can write like this. 6.073 mole per liter. That should be fine as well. So you'll get one more for that. Now, let's have a look at the second problem. Okay, so right here, it's going to be slightly different from what we have looked at in problem number one. Why is that? Because the question gives you um, it wants you to find molality, okay? You need to calculate the molality. And that will lead you to step number one. So what does the question want? It wants you to find molality. So write down, write down the formula or definition of the concentration measurement needed. So molality is defined as the mole of solute. And what is the solute in this question? H2SO4 over mass of solvent in kilograms. Without this kilograms, you will not going to get your one mark. So always remember to write the correct units for your concentration measurement. So you get one mark. For the definition and how do we do assumption then so when you read further here it gives you the mass of your solute you have this mass of your solute okay so when you have mass obviously you can change that into mole of solute. 
And how do you do that? By dividing that with molar mass. Okay, so when I see that, I see this piece of information containing 571.4 grams of solute. I can do step two, in which I want to change that into number of mole, because that one is quite easy to be done. Now, you found the number of mole of solute, mass given to you is this. So work out the molar mass for H2SO4. Very simple. You will get 98.1 gram per mole. And to get the number of mole, just going to do the simple mamo vono um, relationships. And you get the number of mole for solutes, which is 5.825 mole. So by doing that, automatically, you have done this part already. Okay, for this, you would get 5.825 mole. Now, the only thing that we need to do now is to find what is the mass of your solvent in kilograms. Note that at this point, we haven't done any assumptions yet. But when you look at the question, it doesn't give you um, another concentration measurement. It has a density, yes, just like what we have looked in problem number one, but it doesn't give you molarity or percentage by mass or mole fraction. It gives you only this piece of information. Then how are you going to do the assumptions? So this one is quite tricky. So you need to read the question carefully and you need to understand what the question gives. So in step three, this is the time you would be able to do some logical assumption. But in this question, it will be slightly different. Okay, that's why this is considered as higher order thinking skills type of question. So what you're going to be doing is look carefully at the question. It says over there, 571. 0.4 grams of H2SO4 per liter of solution. Per liter of solution. This is mentioned very clearly in your problem number two. Sulfuric acid solution containing per liter of solution. There's a word per liter over there. So per liter means over one liter, yes? Okay, so from that piece of information, it's safe for you to do the assumption that the volume of solution is 1,000 mil or one liter because the question says per liter of solution, okay? So that's how you would be able to do the assumption. Slightly different from what we have done in problem number one. So after you have done the assumptions, you're going to be finding the mass of solution from the density of solution, just like what we have done in problem number one. Again, this is the formula for density. Density is given to you, okay? So this density is given to you in the question. If we go back, that is the density given, 1.329 right here. And 1.329 gram per centimeter cubic right there. And the volume of solution, we've got that from the logical assumption. And the assumption is based on the information given to you in the question. Okay. So you're just going to do a very simple calculation over here. And therefore, you would be able to get the mass of solution, which is 1329.0 grams. Again, in exams, this whole thing, density, 
will give you one mark. And the mass of solution will have another one mark. Okay. So finally, in step five, so what do we need to do in step five? In step five, you're going to take the molality. Okay. Take the molality formula. And we do know what is the mole of solute just now. Okay, we have done that in the beginning of the step, step number one and two. And then what about mass of solvent? Again, we have to be able to use this relationship. Okay, mass of solution equals to mass of solute plus mass of solvent. We have the mass of solution just now, 1329.0 grams. And the mass of solute, this is given to you in the question, which is 571.4 grams. So you're just going to switch this to the other side. You will be able to get your mass of solvent. And you'll get one mark for this and one mark for this very simple equation. Okay. Um, you will be getting your answer in grams in this question. So you're going to change that into kilograms. Why? Because based on the molality formula, mass of solvent needs to be in kilogram. Therefore, plug in those values inside. And that is the mol. That um that is going to be molal, okay? So this is slightly so we're gonna just change this unit. The correct unit should be molal. Or you can write seven point six eight nine small m. That is acceptable as well. Okay, so you get one mark for your final answer.